Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody. Give him glory. Give him praise wherever you are in this whole wide world. Come on, somebody. Get up and just pray. Make sure that you are walking in love with everyone. Make sure that you are walking in wisdom and discernment. Walk in forgiveness. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Well, it's that time again. I really didn't know that God was going to call it that fast, but um, <laughs> the, word, the key word is fast. Well, praise God, praise God. We are getting ready to go on a 21-day liquid fast again. Um, I heard God confirm it this morning, and I was like, okay. <laughs> so, and we're going to be starting February the 15th all the way to March the 7th. Um, so you can eat your candies, <laughs> you can celebrate whatever, you know. Um, so I want you to actually listen to this video. It's very short and powerful. Um, this was my mentor. I miss him great. Oh God, I can't even explain how I miss him. So, but he left us with some wisdom and, um, I pray to be somebody like him when this journey is over with. So go ahead and listen to this and then I will expound on what I have to say. Thank you very much. We're fasting for 21 days from January 9th to January 30th. 21 days. This is how you look when you haven't eaten any food at all for 21 days. No food. My wife, no food. You just drink water, herbal tea. Complete fast. You don't die. So you wonder why I'm so anointed. You wonder why there's such power when I get up to speak. There's a price you pay. You wonder why I have such an understanding of the kingdom. How bad do you want to know God? I heard America's going to fast and they say, I fasted for a day. You didn't fast. You missed a meal. Christ fasted 40 days. Moses fasted 40 days in the mountain. Elijah fasted 40 days. You, 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 you can't get some things done without fasting. There's some things you cannot get done without fasting. I'm telling you. The disciples love God. They follow Jesus. They believe his teaching. And they ran into a little demon-possessed boy. And they couldn't cast a demon out. They love God. They follow Jesus. And they obey the scriptures, his words. But they still couldn't cast a demon out. They prayed, just like you pray. Come out in Jesus' name. I bind. All that stuff. The demon says, no, I'm not coming out. Because I'm a different kind of spirit. I need more than what you're doing. Prayer can't get me out. And the demon never left. Christ, leaving the mountain, coming down the mountain after fasting, met them. And he says, what's going on? The whole city was confused. And a man came to Christ and said, I, I brought my boy to you, to your disciples, and they couldn't cast the demon out. And Christ didn't cast the demon out first. He first turned to them. And he said, how long must I be with you? He rebuked them. There's some things you want God to do, but you ain't willing to pay a price. I'm not telling you I'm fasting because I want you to think I'm impressing you. I wanted to show you what 21 days of food looks like because most of the people I meet in the church, when they fast for two days, they think they're going to die. That's a lie. If you can't overcome the power of your belly, how can you overcome the power of a demon? So Jesus turned to the man and said, bring the boy to me. And then he cast the demon out in one word. And he gave the boy back to his father. The disciples were ashamed and quiet. Because they were publicly embarrassed. The 
Bible said later that day they were at a meal eating. And they were so afraid to talk to him. And one of them built up the courage. His name was Peter. And Peter said, Master, uh, that incident today, why couldn't we cast that demon out? And Christ quickly answered him. He said, oh, son, that kind doesn't come out except by prayer, which is God, which is what you guys did, and fasting, which you didn't do. There's some things you're trying to change in your situation in your life. You've been praying for weeks and months and years. God is saying this kind doesn't change without pushing away the plate. Because the spirit world is a spiritual world. And fasting increases your capacity to receive spiritual power. It's like a pipe. Food is like gunk in a pipe. The more you eat, the smaller the hole gets. The spirit still flows through you, but very restricted. Fasting is like, is like Drano. Flushing out all the distractions and all the inhibitions. It, it makes you solely, completely open to God. That's why the first act of Jesus was fasting. Make a decision this year to pay a price. That's why God could trust me with the whole government. He could trust me to change and train prime ministers. Because when I sit with them, I need to have direct access from God. So I have to be completely spiritually in tune. Because I'm about to do, advise someone who's going to make policy for a country. Perhaps the church in the Western world is eating itself to death. Powerless church. Tonight, right now, tonight, right now, at this moment, we got over 500 people praying on the fast. Some of them are 80 years old, 70 years old. Some of them are 16 years old. My son, 27, is fasting with us right now. When your teenagers fast, can you imagine the power in the youth department? Our youth ministry is the most powerful youth ministry in our country. To pay a price. By the way, fasting keeps you healthy and it doesn't just a benefit. You, you know, you keep your weight off. And you keep your heart right. And you keep your blood clean. And just side benefits of obeying God. And Christ never said, if you fast. He said, when you fast, you must do it before God. When, not if, when. In other words, he expects you to do it. Some of you have never fasted. And it's a command from the king to fast. Praise God. So, I challenge you this year. Start. Do it. Get to know God in a way you never can on a full stomach. Sacrifice. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and although my mentor is not no longer with us in body, but in spirit, trust me, he is in my heart, my mind, my soul. I will always love this man and honor him. But I'm going to pose that same challenge this year to everybody that's on this line and to those that will listen. Let's get to go. Let's know God more than we ever did. Push that plate back, not just on this 21 day fast, but starting on March, February the 15th to March 7th. We're starting on February the 15th through March 7th. Total liquid fast, 21 days. You could drink anything. Um, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. No alcohol, no wine, no stuff like that, beer. But um, you know what I mean, smoothies, juices, 
um, tomato juice. If you get weak and weary, go ahead and chicken broth, beef broth. There are things that you can eat. Come on, somebody like, well, you're not going to be eating. You're going to be liquiding, but it's the same thing as far as nourishment for your body. I'm challenging every last one of you to go on this fast. I know this is not an easy fast. I'm not going to lie to you. A liquid fast is one of the hardest fasts you've ever have to do. But to be honest with you, a complete fast, what they used to do with nothing. But you, you say that to people and then they still, you know what I'm saying? But let's sacrifice. It's time to go deeper. It's time to go higher in God. Don't you want more of God? You want to be more anointed. You want the power of the Holy Ghost. Notice what he said in, in the... um. In the video, they couldn't cast out demons. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be arrogant. How many of you can really cast out demons by the power of God that's in you? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. When we lay hands, we want them to feel the power of God. We're not trying to be arrogant. We're not trying to be grand. I want to feel the power of God. I want to be able to cast out demons. I want to be able to be used by God. I want to be a healing and deliverance person. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't want to just preach and teach. I want to reach. I want to cast out demons. I want to heal the sick. I want limbs to grow. I want to raise the dead. Come on, somebody. It should be something inside of you that desire to be like Christ. He says, because I go to my father, you should do greater works. The greater works are here. Hallelujah. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you will join me on this fast. Not for me, but for yourself. And to get to know God in a way that you have never, ever known him before. So I challenge you. I challenge you to take this fast. Even if you make it to seven days, eight days. And I'm not speaking that. But however long. Even if you go to the full 21 days, just join, just start it, just try it. Come on, somebody, do something you've never done before. It's about sacrifice. People don't want to sacrifice. Everybody just want to have fun. Y'all know it's the truth. Everybody, the flesh is a mess. The flesh fights against the spirit of God. But I hear God saying, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. We need it in this hour like never before. And the last thing I'm going to say is what he said in the video. This kind come out but by fasting and prayer honey you can't get some things done unless you fast and pray period end of story so i pray that you join me i pray that you are you just remain strong in the lord and remember that sacrifices that's our portion we want to be anointed by god we want to be used by god hallelujah so i challenge you not not just for this one time but make this a lifestyle Let's be who God have called us to be. Let's walk in power, authority, greater. He says, because I go to my father, you should do greater things. The greater is here. Are we willing to be used by God in a great way? So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll like soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.